Hello everybody. Hey, I just want to do a really quick video on the sine and cosine inside the vertex uh, shader, which is right here. I just got a little bit excited about this, that's all. So what I did was I, I changed the last vertex um, shader. Okay, so our color, instead of equaling a color, um, I noticed it's a vector 3, so I said vector 3. Okay, the red component and the blue component are 0 and then you got your green component here which is based on the GL vertex ID okay now keep in mind this goes from 0 to 99 so to 100 right and so if you times it by 0 0.01 then it's gonna go when it's 0 that's 0 when it's 100 that's gonna equal 1 right so it's gonna so this is gonna vary from 0 to 1 okay great so red green and blue so the red and blue will be darked out and the green will reflect okay and then you got your position which is a vector 4 okay and what we did previously was just a position comma 1 as the actual component but what I did was I changed the X component okay to the sine of the vertex ID times 0 0.0628, which actually, keep in mind that goes from 0 to 100, right? So move the decimal place over twice. So that goes to 0 when it's 0, and when the sine is 1, uh, or wait, when the when GL vertex ID is 100, then it's 6.28, which is in radians the, um, the circumference of the circle. So you're getting the full uh, circumference of so it's a hundred points along so it's every 3.6 degrees basically if you can follow the math there and the same thing with the cosine we do that right here I times this by 0.5 okay on the X so what I did was I just went into PowerShell and I took the X component 0.5 and what it was for uh, 10 pixels was 0.104 so I divided that and then just take the the Y component which is 10 pixels and times it by that and you get the 0.889 so that way um, the aspect ratio is maintained and let me show you what it does see so you get this nice circle and it goes from 0 all the way up to maximum intensity green which is really cool okay um, this is just kind of fascinating me and I'm gonna do a few more videos on this this is a really quick video so thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe and leave comments in the section below the video